Welcome to this video overview of working with custom rates and rules in SureTax. In this tutorial, we will cover how to add custom rates and applicability rules. After logging into SureTax and selecting the company that you want to work with, you can reach custom tax rates and rules through the menu. It's located under the overrides heading. You'll notice that the map on the custom tax rates and rules screen can be toggled between the United States, Canada, and the world. The key on the right tells us how to read the map. In our case, the teal color of most states in the US tells us that these states have both custom rates and custom applicability rules. Today we're going to be adding a rate and rule for Texas, so I'll stay on the United States, and click the Add button to get started. From this menu you can add a rate only, a rule only, or a surcharge. We'll start by adding a rate. I'll go ahead and enter a description for this new rate. The start rate defaults to this month, which I'll change to January, and leave the end month unspecified. The tax rate can be selected using either the percentage or a flat fee per unit. Let's set this rate for 3%. Next it's time to add the geo code, which I'll need to look up. You can search for a geo code in two ways, either by doing a straight search or by filtering. I'll go ahead and filter my way to the geo code I'm looking for. And there it is. Using the filters allows you to select the geo code at any level that you specified for location, and in this case I want the city of Fort Worth. Now we save and go back. Since I'm creating this tax rate to apply for the city of Fort Worth, I'll choose that for my tax authority and reporting authority IDs as well. For tax type I'll go ahead and choose one of the custom tax types. Then for category. Let's say general merchandise. Clicking more options expands the dialog to show the optional fields below, such as formula. There are many options for formulas, and clicking the blue link will take you to an explanation of how all of the formulas work but I'll stick with standard rate, no aggregation or tier processing, which is simply the revenue times the tax rate. Let's have this rate be rounded on the item level. You may or may not want to add a location code here, depending on the tax authority you selected. Some taxing authorities require a location code on forms used to report revenue and applicable taxes. These codes are authority specific, and they are not necessary for calculations. They simply need to be present on whatever reporting forms are required by the given taxing authority. Since we're not adding a surcharge, these fields can be skipped. That's all of the information we need to go ahead and create this custom rate, so I'll save. A confirmation message displays indicating that the custom rate was created successfully. So let's return to Texas. We can do this either by clicking the card for that state in the details section below the map, or by clicking the state itself. This focuses the map details screen on Texas, where we can see the custom tax rate we just created for Fort Worth. The map details section already has a custom value added tax, and since that's also the tax type I chose for this new rate, they appear under the same accordion. VAT management is discussed in a separate video, so for now let's click on the card for the tax rate I just added. This opens the details dialog for the custom rate, where it's possible to make edits or to delete it. Right now however let's close this dialog and proceed to adding a rule. Once again, we can do this by clicking the add button. But this time we'll select rule only. This opens the add a tax applicability rule dialog, where I'm going to make selections for a rule that applies to the rate we already created. This rule is taxable, which we're going to leave it yes, and also the percentage taxable will be 100%. I'll use the same geo code from before.
Here you can also select the products on which this tax will be collected, as well as the customer type and provider. The default product group is general merchandise, and I'll also leave product item, customer type, and provider at their default values. Then we just need to select the tax type and category. Another message confirms that the rule was created successfully. Now the card for the custom tax rate we created has one tax applicability rule, the one we just added. Let's have a look. Any tax applicability rules that apply to this rate will display on the details dialog for that rate. From this dialog you can make edits to either the rate or the applicable rule. In this demonstration we added a rule that applies to an existing custom rate, but you can also create rules independently using the same method we've shown here. This is where we'll bring the tutorial to a close. I hope you now feel familiar with the tasks involved in managing custom rates and rules, and can make them work for you. Thanks for watching our video on working with custom tax rates and rules in SureTax.